Hi guys, welcome to the tech based channel. In this video, I'm going to try to help you fix the slow download speeds in the Epic Games launcher. So uh, many users have complained that they have a very bad download speed when downloading uh, games with Epic Games and they normally do have a better internet connection. But when downloading with Epic Games, the download speed is very, very bad. So first of all, let me explain something. Something that you may not know is that when downloading a game using Epic Games, the Epic Games Launcher has a feature in which they download and also install the game at the same time. So this is one of the reasons that you will most likely have a lower internet connection in Epic Games than in other platforms like Steam, Origin and stuff like that. So because of the installing and the downloading taking place at the same time, this can be a bit slower. So if you don't have an SSD, the download speed is even slower. So I highly recommend you in 2020 to have an SSD in your PC because you will see a great difference. Now, if you have an SSD and uh, you have a good internet connection and you have a very, very bad download speed using Epic Games, maybe sometimes dropping to even zero bytes per second. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a, th a few things that you should try to do or you should do in order to maximize your Epic Games download speed. So first of all, to get everything out of the way, we're going to update our network driver. So we're going to do that automatically from Windows. We're not going to use any other third party apps. So we're going to have to type in the search box, this PC, then right click on this PC and then click on manage. Then you're going to have to go here in the left hand side to device manager. And after that, locate network adapters, expand it, right click on your network adapter and click on update driver. So just go and click on search automatically for an updated driver. And if a new version has appeared in the meantime, you're going to see it here. But as you can see, in my case, the best drivers for my device are already installed. So if you see this message, everything is OK. Now let's go further. So first of all, we can use a method to renew the IP address. So um, sometimes our download speed can be slow because of a wrong IP configuration. So I'm going to show you how to renew your IP configuration. And of course, after you do the settings, you should test out and see if this helped. Now we're going to press the Windows plus R keys at the same time on our keyboard, the one box will appear and here type in CMD. In CMD, you're going to have to type in three commands, which are IP config release, press enter. Of course, you're going to have it in the description down below. After that, you're going to have to paste this one. Make sure to have those saved because as you can see, when you run this command IP config release, your internet connection will be disconnected. Then paste the next one, IP config flush DNS, press enter and the the last command IP config slash renew and then press enter and you'll see that our connection will be restored. As I've said, don't forget that these commands are in the description down below. You don't have to pause the video to copy them or something. Just copy and paste them from the description down below. Now, after you did these settings, just make sure to exit out from here and then restart your PC and then come back and see how is your download speed. Of course, I'm going to show you another thing that you should do and you should try. So you can also change your DNS server. Sometimes Windows cannot find the, the best DNS server. And if you don't know, in, by default in Windows, Windows will automatically get a DNS server for you. So Windows uh, can sometimes not get the best server for you. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change it to a better one, a more consistent one that can help you have higher download speeds. Just click on the search box, type in here control and open up control panel. Panel. Here you're going to have to go and click on under network and internet. Just click on view network status and tasks. Then go and click on change adapter settings. Right click on your connection and click on properties. And you're going to have to locate internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Double click on it so you will be able to see uh, its properties. Here in the general tab, make sure that up here you have uh, selected obtain an IP address automatically. But down here, just go and select use the following DNS server addresses and for preferred DNS server type in here 888 and for al alternate DNS server type in here 884 for. Then click on OK, OK, make sure you exit out from here and restart your PC. So guys, these are two things, two solutions that you should 
try and should consider in order to get better download speeds in Epic Games Launcher. As I've said, Epic Games Launcher by default will have a lower, a slower download speed because of the fact that it also installs the game while downloading it. So that's a thing that you have to keep in your mind. But I'm hoping that this video was useful. Don't forget to leave a like down below if the video was useful to you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in which I um, show you solutions for problems that users like us, like you, encounter on a daily basis. So of course, if you have problems, if you have alternative solutions to the solutions that I've showed you in this video or in other videos, make sure to leave a comment down below. I uh, look forward to hearing from you. So uh, you are very welcome to leave a comment down below. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, stay safe.